mach mal Auge zu. Du hast hier Haare. Du hast dein eigenes Fell in den Augen. Das ist scheiße. Und deine Haare auch schon wieder. So. FIFA Feierabend jetzt hier. Chat, ich habe äh, was Schönes gesehen. Und das will ich mir jetzt angucken. Ich habe äh, bei Race Beyond Matter habe ich äh, ein Video gesehen, was ich mir gerne mit euch angucken möchte. Denn da geht es nämlich um Rammelmotoren an der Pedale. Und die sind von Another Way. Quasi da, wo der Shifter und die Handbremse von mir herkommen. Und das möchte ich mir mal angucken, was das so kann. Ob das cool ist. Ich habe bis dato immer nur davon gehört. Aber noch nie gesehen. Rumble in the Jungle. Pack Opening? Nein, wir spielen kein FIFA. Lass mal da reingehen. Lass mal, lass mal gucken. I love to see. Race Beyond Meta hat jetzt auch Motion? Big companies pushing the boundaries and try to deliver good quality products for reasonable prices. And that exactly is the case with the Raptor pedal set from another way. Es ist kein. Oh, ich habe das voll missinterpretiert. Das sind Pedale von Another Way. Und ich habe gedacht, das sind solche Add-on-Motoren. Äh, Add oh. Also aussehen. Das Vertical Set ist auf der traditionellen Simpedal-Seite mit Tons of Adjustability, which we will discuss in a minute, but let me give you first the prices. The two pedal set, which include 24-bit load cell with set of elastomer and can be set to plate forces from 43 to almost 120 kilo and 10-bit position sensor on the throttle from 4 to 11 kilo pressure adjustment will cost 419 euro and if you want to add a clutch on top of that will cost you 400 euro is really a very good price extra 80 euro so oh, for wow. 99 including but is very competitive price for that quality and adjustability and is way below the husing weld sprint now depending on when you're gonna see that video it is worth checking The another way website as they will run a pre-order for limited time which will reduce the cost to 30 Maga. 370 Euro? Also wenn die von der Qualität her wie die Handbremse und der Shifter sind Moin dann ist das ein richtiger Banger Wow 69 for two pedal set and 449 for the full kit which in my opinion is great opportunity for pedals like those. If that is the budget you are willing to spend for your next upgrade, let's see what that kit is capable of. The body core of all three pedals is identical, mostly built of stainless steel and aluminum parts. The pedal plates are adjustable in height through those three holes with spacing of 19 millimeters in between. Also, the second part of the pedal core can move up and down through those 13 slots and change the height even further and also give a bit more or less aggressive angle of the plate. Ooh, Next that. very important adjustment is the six different piston slots which can change dramatically the feeling of each pedal. As I said, the throttle used 10-bit position hole sensor and also the control board is fitted here. The moving part of the back of the piston ensure linear compression of the spring and there is a graph which shows what each slot does to the pedal. From okay. 4 kilo resistance on slot 3 to almost 11 kg to slot 6, which must cover every personal preference out there. As this is throttle, every slot ensure linear compression. And if all this is not enough, we can always add or take some of the preload of the spring itself. Next important adjustment is the pedal stopper on the bottom which changes the depth movement between 10 to 20 degrees angle Ooh, and if we good. want deep or short movement just have to move this part here to our life. I like how with single spring we can change so radically the workflow of nice. the throttle and the two rubberized stoppers on the front and the one of the bottom makes it pretty silent. I don't know if There is something more I can ask from this one. A 
es ist für mich wirklich immer wieder wahnsinnig zu sehen, wie viel Stuff mittlerweile auf dem Markt ist. Es ist so viel Zeug auf dem Markt, dass man selbst als Mensch, der wirklich sehr viel diese, diese Art von Content konsumiert und sich auch sehr viel anschaut, nicht mal ansatzweise alles kennen kann. Let's move to the break. As I've said, all trip pedals are identical. Just this one used 24-bit load cell sensor for input measurement and one spring plus set of elastomers. The adjustments on the pedal plate are the same with those three 19mm spaced holes, further angle and height positions, rubberized stopper on the bottom and front plus slots for the piston angle which will change the feeling of the compression. The bottom slot is the only one which will give more linear feeling with pressure up to almost 50 kilo and the rest have more progressive input reaching almost 120 kilo so I guess that is range which will cover most of the drivers out there. Also preload is possible on the top so standard load cell elastomer based brake pedal with tons of adjustability. Moving to the clutch, we'll find another 10-bit position sensor in the same highly adjustable body but with harder spring and bite point feeling which is achieved through the pivot of that part of the back and as we go up on the piston slots, we can make it more linear in compression. All the rest is the same, just like on the throttle and the brake, to match all kinds of different preferences. The oh. cables on each pedal are long enough for spacing or even... Moment, what? They laufen with jacks? Oh! Inverted attachment and the connection's pretty strong. The calibration is possible through the deep view program, which is explained well okay. in the guide. The construction of each pedal is built like a tank and with that price I don't see a reason to not suggest those over the Husing belt sprints which are also entry level of the high-end pedals. Both are simple kits with almost zero maintenance requirements to last for years but those are almost two-thirds of the price with Little better specs and I guess a bit more adjustability. Also, wenn die ansatzweise nur die, die Qualität haben, wie die Handbremse und der Shifter, dann brauchst du halt, dann kaufst du dir wirklich einen Panzer. Dann kaufst du dir wirklich einen Panzer. Also, if you need pedal plate, this base will cost you extra 99 Euro, which is made of base plate with slots for pedal distance adjustment, heel support and two brackets with holes for height adjustments. So, Ooh. Okay, If your cool. rig doesn't have pedal support, it can be a good option. Das müsste ich mir auch irgendwann mal besorgen. As I've said, those are not the best pedals in the world, but do not intend it to be. Another way I have their flagship model to compete with the very best options out there and those here are attempt to fit in the entry level high end pedals with very competitive price and I have to admit they achieved that very well. I have tested pedals like those in the past with the same specs with way less adjustability options and almost double the price. Sim racing space become very competitive for no. the manufacturers and I'm really happy to see some companies pushing the boundaries and trying to bring more and more affordable gear without Also für den Preis auf jeden Fall. Also das ist halt eine richtige Ansage. Das ist ja, das sind ja schon Simjack Preise. Nur, dass ich in another way ein bisschen mehr vertraue, um ehrlich zu sein. Sacrificing quality. An der Stelle. So, well done, AW. The Predators are quite a success indeed with that price. Oh ja, ganz ehrlich, für, für, für das Geld? Also, was kosten CSL-Pedale, Chat? Weiß das gerade jemand aus dem Kopf? Für, für wie viel gehen die über den Tisch? Was, was kosten aktuell CSL-Pedale? Die V2 von Fanatec. 300 Euro. Jo, da würde ich auf jeden Fall für 300 und ein paar zerquetschen, würde ich mir die holen. Klappsport sind ja dann wahrscheinlich auch so um die 400, nehme ich an, war? 
Da würde ich mir aber dicke die Dinger holen. 300 in 60 Euro als Vorbesteller. 400 nachher, wenn sie, wenn sie kalt sind. Das ist ja wohl bitte richtig geil. Das ist ja wohl richtig guter Preis. 